Hey, so what up guys, Me here with Droid Tech and in this video, we're going to be looking at something that I've waited anxiously for and I pre-ordered, which is the Note 10 Plus, which I have right here in white. So you can see it's the pre-order unit. And this pre-order unit actually came with three gifts, which is the wireless battery pack, extended warranty, and also screen crack protection, as well as a storage bump from 256 GB to 512 GB, which is awesome. I mean, I still use an SD card, but... Having a big storage bump is actually very worth it and future-proof. So, without further ado, let's get right into the unboxing. Okay guys, so we are back and we will put the battery pack to the side and focus on the start of the show which is actually the Note 10 Plus. Okay, so let's take a look at the specs behind. You see Galaxy Note 10 Plus. The good thing about the Note 10 Plus is that it has two advantages over the Galaxy Note 10. Because it has a base storage of 256 GB and 512 GB. There's, there are two variants. They have 12 GB RAM across the board. So I mean, it is kind of overkill for a phone to have 12 GB RAM. But if you consider using this for DAX and, and more powerful tasks, this phone is just going to fly through. And it has a more powerful 7 nanometer processor as compared to the 8 nanometer on the Galaxy S10 Plus. However, the variant we are getting in Malaysia is actually the Exynos variant. So I'm not really a fan of Exynos processors because they are pretty power hungry as compared to the Snapdragon 855. But anyway, it is what it is. You can see here, Southeast Asian SIM card only because this is basically the Asian variant of the Note 10 Plus. So you can see the specs here. There's a quad camera setup on the Note 10 Plus which includes a time of flight sensor and Basically, the regular three cameras, wide, the ultra wide, and also the tele lens. However, what I've heard is that the primary camera is actually improved in terms of the sensor and processing. So I'm hoping to see even better low light pictures because the S10 Plus was a pretty letdown for me. That's the reason I gave it up. Okay, so you can see usual stuff, IP rating, and also, of course, it's a Note series. So it includes the S Pen with air gestures. So it's something like what we saw with the Tab S6. And it also has a very nice edge to edge display. One of the highest screen to body ratios. And I should say the best display in the market. So you can see it's a Quad HD Dynamic AMOLED. Okay, so instead of me boring you with the specs, let's get right into the unboxing. Okay, so what do you get in the box? You first get this nice sleeve which actually stuck in the top portion of the box but it came off. So let's see what do they have inside here. Let me take it all out. We have the SIM ejector pin right here. Okay, let's put that to the side. So we get a nice jelly case, which is adequate for daily use, but of course this will turn yellow pretty quickly. Then we have the quick start guide right here. And also warranty card and regional lock guide. So we won't be reading that. So let's put all that to the side. Okay, let's take a look at the start of the show, which is the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. You can see I got this in white, which is absolutely stunning. In fact, the white on this is even better than the S10 Plus white because the S10 Plus white had a sort of a pearlish gradient, which I was not really a fan of. I like solid colors. That's, that's the reason I like the white color on the Note 10 Plus. It looks very similar to ceramic. Let's take a look at the device. On the left hand side, you get the volume rockers and the power button, which is also your big three button because they actually removed the power button from the right side and shifted all of it to the left side. I mean, I'm not really a fan of it because I'm right-handed. I like the power button to be on the right, but it works with my index finger as well. Okay, so let's take a look at the top. You can see noise cancellation microphone. I don't know what this hole is for. And then you have the hybrid SIM card slot, which can also accommodate a micro SD card up to one terabyte. Okay, take a look at the bottom, you get USB-C, which is now standard. Then the loudspeaker as well as S Pen. You can see the S Pen here, it's in white as well. Very nice. And you get your primary microphone. So you can see antenna bands right there as well. And on the front, you get a 6.8 inch AMOLED display. Okay, let's take a look at the rear. Time of flight camera in the center. You have your flash, you have your triple camera set up right here okay let's put that to the side let's focus on the contents of the box so what do we get 
I get a fast charging wall adapter. I heard this is 25 watts. Correct me if I'm wrong. So it's pretty fast. It's even faster than the previous generations. You can see it's USB-C to USB-C, which is a nice bump. But of course, if you're looking at plugging your USB-C cable into your computer, you might be a bit out of luck because for me, I don't use USB-C on my computer, so I will probably have to find some old USB-C cables which has a USB-A on one end. So it is what it is. But I'm happy they included a fast charger. Okay, taking a look at this box. Uh, let me see how to open this. Should I open it from the bottom? Yeah, from the side. So this is basically your S Pen tips and whatnot. I don't think I want to open this because you have a mess to put back. Let's put that to the side. What else do we have? You have a USB-C to USB-C cable. You can see right here. USB-C to USB-C. Which I will have to use probably. But I'll probably use a wireless charger. So maybe I will just keep this in the box. And last but not least. USB-C headphones by AKG. Because if you have already noticed. The Note 10 Plus doesn't have a headphone jack. It is not a deal breaker for me. Because I do use wireless headphones. Bluetooth headphones like all the time. So I don't really need... A triple 5 mm jack. Okay, so let's put all this to the side. Let us focus on the free gift, which is the wireless battery pack. So you can see, it also charges the Galaxy Watch, and you can even charge both the Galaxy Watch and the Note 10 Plus, or basically any device. Okay, so let's dive into the box. I've already opened it to check the contents. So we have the wireless battery pack itself. Very nice. Aluminium. You can see charges via USB-C. Of course, it's USB-C in and not out. Power goes out through the USB-A. You can see this is a power button. You can see right here. We have three bars out of four. The wireless charger is basically activated. And that's about it. So it's a pretty good charger. You can see this is the wireless charging pad. And what else do we get in the box? We get a quick start guide as usual, which we won't read. I mean, it's a power bank. You just have to plug it in and it works. Or put your phone on top in this case. Quick start guide. And you have a USB cable as well. Let me pull it out of the box. USB A to USB C cable. In terms of speed, yes, Samsung phones have improved over the years, but in terms of the camera, they still, well, I still prefer the iPhone cameras because iPhone cameras deliver more consistent image quality throughout all scenarios, except when it's really pitch black. All right, so that wraps up our video. Hope you liked this video. If you did like it, hit that thumbs up button and also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this and do let me know in the comments what you want me to test out on this phone maybe a camera comparison maybe a camera test we'll see what comes next all right so thanks guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video